Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamla and this is Sewn on the Tine and I'm here today with a little slash large haul for you. I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought I would share with you the things that I've been picking up recently and any plans that I've got related to them. So what I'm going to sew them up into in the near future hopefully. So let's get started. I'm going to start with what I picked up at the Knitting and Stitching show a couple of weeks ago in Harrogate. I didn't think I was going to make it to this year's show. I went last year for the first time. I didn't think I was going to make it this year. It just wasn't looking like it was going to work out. I couldn't make it on the Thursday, Friday or Saturday and I just sort of written off the Sunday as in I'll just be with Sam and Taylor and I'm not going to get a chance to go. Sam and I had tickets to go and see a comedian on the evening in Newcastle and I just didn't know if I could make it work. But then the FOMO got too much. So I was seeing on Instagram and I was getting messages on WhatsApp of people that were there on the Thursday and the Friday and just saying how great it was and what they bought. And I was getting more and more jealous, envious, <laughs> wishing I was there. So I just mentioned it to Sam and he said, why don't you go on Sunday? And I was like, but we're going to see Mark Watson on the evening. And he said, but you could be back in plenty of time for that. That doesn't start till eight. Harrogate's like an hour and a half's drive from here. So I formulated a plan. <laughs> I knew Rachel, my lovely Rachel from Stitched Up, was going on the Sunday by herself. So I just sent her a message and said, would you mind if I tag along? <laughs> and thankfully she said, of course I don't mind. So we very quickly decided we were going to go and eat something first before we went in. So we booked the Ivy for breakfast, which was very lovely. And then we went into the show. We were in there for two, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. It was very, very quiet. Everybody that had been previously had said how busy it was. The Sunday was so quiet and I liked it. I liked it a lot. You could move, you could breathe, you weren't being pushed, you could see what was on each stand. It was great. So definitely if I go next year it'll be on the Sunday. Although don't all now be saying that you're going to go on the Sunday too because then it won't be quiet anymore. <laughs> so anyway yes we went in and our first stop pretty much was Jenny Stitches. We love going to see Jenny and what lovely fabric she's got and I purchased one fabric from her. So let me find it. Ah, always in a lovely purple bag. And I mean, it'll be no surprise really when you see this fabric. Those of you who know me probably could have walked up to Jenny's stand and picked this fabric out for me. It is a glorious loop back French Terry. It's by a little Johnny who just seemed to release loads and loads of fabrics that I love. And it's this like paint splatter, galaxy, tie dye kind of combination in purples, yellows, pinks and white. And I love it. So I purchased a metre and a half of this. When I purchased it, I thought potentially I might make the new Friday Pattern Company Pogo Nip Pullover with this. But then I found a fabric later that I'm going to use for that. So this might become something else. Some sort of jumper, hoodie, that sort of thing. Isn't it just gorgeous though? I love it. If Jenny has that on her website, I will link to it down below. So next up, we popped to a stall called Dots and Stripes. Now I purchased some gorgeous pink waffle knit from her last year and I still haven't sewn it up. I really must get onto that. I was actually wearing a fabric that she was selling on her stand. My fabric was from First for Fabrics, but she had the same fabric on her stand and she recognised it straight away. But the fabric that I purchased was a cotton spandex jersey. And I just love the colours in this. I've got like a swirly design. It's just all those blues and purples that I absolutely love. I just got a metre of this. I think I'm just going to make some sort of basic t-shirt or top but I just really really like that one right we had a bit more of a wander looking around we were, we weren't tempted by many stands but Lady McElroy was definitely one that I was tempted by so they had all of their remnants which they sell for £12 a metre as well as all of their other fabrics which they sell for £15 a metre I first had a little browse through the remnants and I was looking at Cobra Corsage in the purple and the pink. They had a really beautiful pink version of it, but I didn't like the base cloth that it was on and they didn't have it in the viscose chalet, which is what I really, really like from Lady McElroy. 
then I found this one which I've been after for a little while. I don't know the name of the design but I just really love this one. So this was a remnant and I think he said there was like 1.2 meters or something but you've got all of these flowers mixed in with butterflies, suns on a black background oh, and you've got twinkly stars as well. I just I really really love it. So this is the Visco Chalet which is just so soft and lightweight and beautiful. I think I have a plan for this. I think I want to make a Friday Pattern Company patina blouse with this. I've only made that once before but I really love the one that I've got so I think if I had another one I would get lots of wear out of it. It's just beautiful isn't it? If you can hear the ice cream van in the background I'm sorry. As if the ice cream van's going around on the 25th of December. Of December <laughs> on the 25th of November an ice cream van that's just a bit mad isn't it saying that Taylor would eat ice cream all day every day of the year so <laughs> so yes that was purchase number one from Lady McElroy and then I spotted a fabric that I've never seen before I've never seen this print before and I feel like it's a bit different to their other prints and designs there's no floral there's yeah I've, wait till you see it. it this isn't going to be for everyone most of you probably won't like this <laughs> but i absolutely love it and i just couldn't walk away from it <sighs> look so it's a black base it's a visco chalet again and it's got all of these brightly colored smiley faces on it's very like 90s dance rave kind of scene which was never my scene so I don't know why I love this so much but it's just very very cool. So I got a meter and a half of this one. I think I want to make a saltwater slip dress out of this which I think I can get out of a meter and a half. It's touch and go but I think I can do it. Let me know down below do you love this or hate it? It's definitely going to be a Marmite one. So next we went and had a little sit down. I had some chocolate, Rachel had some cake, we had a soft drink, I know but we were driving so we were being very sensible and then we headed to Rainbow Fabrics. So it was really really lovely to meet Yusuf from Rainbow Fabrics and for them to come up from London. I know a lot of the businesses that usually go to the London Knitting and Stitching Show don't find themselves traveling all the way up north to come and see us in Harrogate but I'm really really pleased that Rainbow Fabrics did. It was amazing to have them there and I think they found a lot of new customers which is what it's all about really isn't it? It's about the exposure. So yes it was very nice to meet him and his team and also to see their fabrics in real life rather than just on Instagram and on the website. So I may have made a few purchases from them. <laughs> So, he also gave me a couple of lovely bags to put them in. Oh. <laughs> so let's have a look. The first one that I went for is this really, really nice black denim. But when I felt this and felt the back of it, I just had to have it. So it's a black denim. Okay, nothing unusual there. It is... A stretch denim which is lovely nice amount of stretch but the back of this is this really cozy brushed gray side it's just really really nice it's like backed with this other texture and it's just beautiful at first I thought this had like a jersey on the back like jersey fabric but it's not it's just all being brushed on the back and it just feels so soft. So I got two meters of this because I was thinking a pair of dungarees but as I walked away and as I drove home and thought about it I'm actually thinking of making the Friday Pattern Company pogo nip pullover out of this. That pattern is really cool. I've had it printed A0 so it's ready to go. I watched the release video on YouTube, so the launch video by Chelsea from Friday Pattern Company and she was wearing and showing a denim version that she made. It's designed for all sorts of fabrics and when I saw that I just thought you know what with this being so soft on the inside how cool would a pogo knit pullover be in that? Like as a nice outerwear jacket rather than a jumper if that makes sense and the button placket down the front I can use some really nice like hardware like poppers metal poppers what do you think do you think that's a good idea it's definitely soft enough for that pattern and that 
is the winner for me. So yes, plan number one. Plan number one, fabric number one from Rainbow Fabrics. Fabric number two is one that I had seen them release but hadn't really drawn me in and then I saw Suzanne, Susie on Instagram shared in her stories some images from the original maker who used this fabric in their designs like a what do you call it like a brand a shop a small business who used this fabric for their collection and just seeing it I really loved it and then when I went and felt the fabric it was just different to how I pictured it online so being able to see it and feel it does make such a difference and this is it so it's this really cool like ecru sandy very light sand canvas i think it's a cotton twill actually and then it's got these big abstract black squiggly lines on so it's quite soft but also structured and i just really love it and i want to make a pair of dungarees out of this is that mad <laughs> I just think a pair of dungarees in this would be really cool and I'm thinking the Riley overalls by True Bias which is a pattern I've had printed and I still haven't sewn up. I think that would be really cute what do you think? And then <laughs> I spotted a couple of really cute cottons that they had which I just thought would be perfect for Taylor and they were like four pounds a metre I think so I got this one, she's got constellations on, but within the animals that they represent. And I just love that one. I don't know what I'm doing with these for Taylor yet, but I had to have it. So this was Joanne fabric. This is a Robert Kaufman fabric, and again was four pounds a meter. And Taylor loves anything under the sea, ocean life related. That one might be a little shirt or something for him. The print on the other one's a bit big for a shirt, I think. So that could be a cushion for his bedroom or something like that. And then lastly, this one caught my eye just as I was paying and I thought, why not? I'll have that as well. It's a really good price. So I just got this viscose. I got a metre and a half because I just want to make a shirt. I can't remember the name of the shirt that I want to make. It's a recent release by Atelier Jupe and I've got the pattern on its way from Beyond the Pink Door. So I've purchased the kit to make the pattern. But I thought this fabric would make a really cool long sleeved version of that shirt. We'll pop it on the screen somewhere because the name has escaped me. But yeah, just a really cool abstract monochrome print. So they were all my knitting and stitching show purchases. I didn't go mad, although Rachel telling everybody that I did, telling everybody that I bought all the fabric. I don't think that's too bad, do you? I don't think so. <laughs> Just because Rachel was more well behaved than me and so was Ruan. I don't know what's going on. So we are just going to skip to a little ad break and then I'm going to come back and share lots more gorgeous things with you that may have been arriving in the post. Be right back. So I just wanted to remind you of an ongoing partnership that I have with the wonderful Serious Light brand. I have been using my Serious Light for over a year now I think and it's just brilliant and I just wanted to remind you that I do have an offer code if you would like to add one to your sewing room or your living room or wherever you want. So the offer code is SR481. That will get you £100 off any of the lights in the high definition range as well as free delivery. That's a really fantastic offer and would make a big difference to the purchase of one of these. So just to remind you of some of the key features of the Serious Light then. So in the high definition range you can opt for either a table lamp or a floor lamp. I went for the floor lamp and as you can see I went for the Gemini head option which has got the two heads which I find really useful for directing light into different areas of my sewing room whether that's my ironing board over here, my sewing machine over here, my overlocker here. If I'm doing something at my seat here it's just really really useful they have daylight wavelength technology which replicates the daylight spectrum and just really reduces that eye strain and makes it a real true light rather than that fake light you have the flexible arms here which are really great for moving the light to where you need it you've also got the 
handle here so you can again direct that light exactly where you need it. You can adjust the beam width, you can adjust the brightness of the lamp so you can really tailor it to the task that you're doing and what you need it for. The website gives loads and loads of information so if you want to read more about it do head over to the website i'll link it all down below and i'll remind you of the offer code there as well there are payment options on the website and yeah just lots of information there so you can really see if it will be for you and if it will enhance your life like it has done mine that sounds a bit ott but it enhances my sewing practice so much it really does and yeah, I wouldn't be without it now. So do check out all the details down below and thank you for watching. Just a little note to say thank you for supporting any sponsored content that I do. YouTube does take a lot of time and resources and yeah, the, the filming, the editing, the preparation, the research, all of it takes a lot of time. So to have an occasional sponsor of a video does really help me out. And I really appreciate it when you lovely people support that, so thank you. Right, back to the goodies. So what should I start with? Oh, I picked up a new pattern, which is this one. I am a Sew Direct VIP, which means that I can get early access in the UK to patterns by McCall, Simplicity, Vogue, etc. And I also get a code every few months to get a free pattern with free postage. So this was completely free. Well, within my subscription, I think I pay £14 per six months, it might be. And that gets me 40% off everything, always. And it means I can get a free pattern every now and again. So I chose this one mainly for this top because I really, really like that style. So it's like a jersey top with this tie detail at the front that creates like a ruching in between the bust. And I just really liked that. It's got like a square neckline. I mean, the whole outfit is fabulous, but I probably won't make the trousers. It really was just for the top that I purchased that. So, oh, I could use that for that lovely new jersey that I bought. I wonder how much I need. Yeah, it reckons 1.4 meters, but could probably get it out of one, I reckon. <laughs> so that is a new pattern. Then I purchased a couple of fabrics from Rachel's D stash and she brought those to me when I saw her recently. So first up, I got this remnant of loop back French Terry, which I just thought Taylor would love because it's green and it's got that tie dye look to it, which I love. So I think there's enough there to make him a little jumper or a pair of trousers. So thank you, Rachel. And then I also got him this one. This is also for Taylor. It's a cotton jersey with these really cool spider webs on and Taylor loves spiders and spider webs. And the colours in that are just gorgeous. I think this might have been from Jenny Stitches originally. It's a little Johnny again, isn't it? Yeah, it's little Johnny. Let's just do the coolest designs. So yes, that will become probably a t-shirt for Taylor. And then, I mean, there's loads. I could make something for myself out of it. I think there's a meter and a half here so yes we could be matchy matchy the next thing that came through the post was my kickstarter reward from Paige joanna i supported her kickstarter to create some new sewing labels and i love a sewing label they've come in these gorgeous little packets oh upside down upside down packets and i went for the full package where you got all four of the different designs so design number one is this one of a kind. Now she said that these were actually supposed to be folded, but they arrived not folded. So you can either fold them and use them like that, or you could actually sew them and use them like that. I love this one. Good vibes only with those really cute flowers. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> Busy bee with this really cute bee on it. And this one, which says me made, which again, you could fold and use it that way, you could use it that way, or you could have the whole thing. So I was very happy to support Paige. I love her, I chat to her quite often, and I love supporting her as a brand and as a businesswoman. So I will link to her labels down below if you want to go and pick any up yourself. And finally, the P PS de resistance <laughs> is, I mean, this is gonna look like nothing because I've unwrapped it and it came so beautifully wrapped. It's now just a white box. This is the Club Cloth Edit 
box, the most recent one. So if you don't know, Cloth Edit is a really fabulous Australian business, a one woman business run by Gabrielle. She sells beautiful fabrics. She's got exquisite taste. Her fabrics are very well chosen and curated. I love her shop. I would order more frequently from her if the postage wasn't an issue and if it wasn't coming from the other side of the world. I mean, things get delivered extremely quickly from her. I've ordered two or three times now and, you know, postage isn't that much considering where it's coming from, but it's not somewhere that I'm going to order from every single week. But I would encourage you to go and check out her website. She has some really beautiful fabrics that you won't find elsewhere. And yes, her taste is exquisite. So every three months she does something called club cloth edit which is like a subscription box but you don't subscribe it's like a one-off and it's always themed or inspired by a design house so i got the last one and made this incredible dress that we'll put here the iris dress by vicky sews in the fabric that came in that box so i just had to have this box because i loved that one so much i had to get this one as well this one was called the House of L box. It was inspired by a design house that I had never heard of. I'm not very into designer brands and things like that, so I'm not really in the know, but they are called LDJ or La Double J, and they are an Italian fashion house. I'm reading this from the website, by the way, so I get nothing wrong. They are a vibrant label renowned for their signature unabashed use of bold print and their raison d'etre is to create a joyful state so they're not interested in trends and they reject quiet luxury and understatement so i loved that gabrielle put together a pinterest board with lots of inspiration so i went and had a look at that what's great about gabrielle's club cloth edit box is she gives lots of information in advance not to spoil the surprise but just to make sure that people really know what they're going to get and if it's going to be their style or not which i think is great it, it's not a complete surprise you get lots of teasers and you can make an informed choice there are lots of different options so she has three different gift options and then different length options of fabric so two meters or three meters and then this time there were three different designs of fabric to choose from as well so so much choice i went for the black and multicolor fabric and I went for three meters and I think I went for gift B. I didn't think, I thought the pattern would be a bit of a risk. So one of the gifts is a pattern and I just thought it was a bit of a risk. So I decided not to go for that one. And she may have given me a little bit of a clue about the gifts or one of the gifts. And I think she had seen it on one of my videos and she said, I've got a feeling that you have this gift. And as it turned out, I did have that gift. So thankfully I went for gift B. Yes, I'll show you the box in just a second. So the fabric that we got is a luxury viscose Marocaine and it's by a brand called Art Lux. So they are working with Gabrielle to provide exclusive designs that will only be sold at Cloth Edit, which is really exciting. The fabric is a really beautiful viscose crepe, but it's not a grainy, really textured crepe like some are. It's a really beautiful quality. It's soft, it's silky, and I think you'll love it when you see it. But when I first opened my box, there was something else in it. So yeah, th this was around the box when it came. You know, it was beautifully presented. Lovely pink ribbon. I've just taken all that off. But this was the first thing that greeted me, which was not part of Club Cloth Edit. This was a special gift that Gabrielle popped in the box for me. It's got paper, it's just so beautifully wrapped. It's got paper inside, hence that noise. Look at this. This is a Japanese cotton that I admired when it went onto the Cloth Edit website. And I love it. It's got the jacquard texture. It's the same style of fabric as the iris dress that I made and I got this fabric in the last Club Cloth Edit box. It's just beautiful and I love, love, love this design. It's just stunning. So yeah, Gabrielle sent me this as a gift and I can't believe it. I feel very, very, very lucky. I'm going to put this away for spring summer next year. I definitely think it's more of a spring summer fabric than an autumn winter fabric. How beautiful is that? 
I will link to this down below if Gabrielle's got any left and she did have it in other colorways. So yes, I will link to them. So the actual Club Cloth Edit box, you got a lovely little card, which had in it my invoice <laughs> and then a nice postcard and then a lovely message on it from Gabrielle as well. You get a little gift, which I'll open. I haven't opened this yet. And then you get a beautiful brochure, which Gabrielle has written and put together. So it talks you through the inspiration. It shares the fabrics with you. It tells you what's in the boxes. There was a discount code, which expired ages ago. So it doesn't matter if you just saw that. And then an introduction to the designer, Anne Ringstrand, whose pattern was in one of the boxes, if you opted for that. And then a book on the back, which is also by the same designer. So it's a lovely little booklet that Gabrielle puts together. That was one of the other fabrics. But she described the three fabrics in advance so you could choose the one which best suited you, which I think is really lovely. You've got a lovely little label which says Dream Impossible Things, which is from Intensely Distracted. You get a little VIP preview of some of the other Art Lux fabrics. So you get a little sample card with those, so a little description. And then a little sample card of the fabrics. How beautiful are they? Oh, they feel so soft. They really do. It's just all exquisite, isn't it? Gabrielle's taste is just impeccable. Let's open this gift before I look at my fabric. Oh, how lovely two gifts. So we've got some self-threading needles. So hand sewing needles, but with that self-threading feature on the top, which is great. And then a little macaron, which is a magnet but I think it's also a needle sharpener how clever is that so you can place your needle on the top it's like a needle minder or you can put your needle in and it sharpens your needle that is clever I like that and the fabric <sighs> right I'll take the tissue out again so you can you can appreciate the fabric in all its glory Look at that. It gives me like Mexican fiesta kind of vibes, just with those really vibrant colours against that black background. I love this fabric. I'm so happy with it. So I've got three metres of this and as it stands, I don't have a plan. So if you have an idea of what I can make with this, do share it because I'd love to hear your thoughts. I definitely want to make a dress, something really fabulous, a maxi dress of some kind, I think. It's just stunning, absolutely stunning. I love it. And she was absolutely right about it not feeling like a crepe. It doesn't have that texture of a crepe at all. It's just super soft. Look at how beautifully that drapes and falls. I love it. Thank you, Gabrielle, for putting together such a wonderful box. I'm very excited and definitely keep an eye out for the next release because they are very special and I would recommend it as a very occasional treat to yourself. I think that's everything. Please do drop me a comment down below and let me know what was your favourite thing that I shared with you today. If you've got an idea of what I should make with that incredible cloth edit fabric then please let me know i'd love to have your thoughts if you've enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you would like to subscribe to my channel and you don't already it would be amazing to have you here so please do click that button and press the bell so you get notifications when my videos are released some people have been messaging me recently to say they're not getting their notifications i don't know what's going on so please do also just look out on my channel just head to my channel and see when my new videos are up that would be really really lovely Thank you for watching. I hope you're all really, really well. And I'll see you again soon in my next video. Happy sewing. Bye. And any plans that I've got for making with them. Does that make sense? So it was really, really lovely to meet Yusuf from Rain... Let's have a sip of tea. Or you can put your magnet... If you've got an idea with what...